what happened to your camera? Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm still eating. Eat lah, never mind lah. You can turn on the camera and eat lah. No problem. No problem. Yeah, just eat lah. It's okay. Thank you. I think, Warren, after you finish your meal, uh, you, have, you all have to do your presentation, right? Remember about the war in Chrome, which uh, tell you that group that they presented ready, right? Yeah, okay. So once you're ready, just let me know. This is the one here, okay? And then, of course, uh, this one you all have selected. We are still waiting for Zachary. Uh, which one uh, you are choosing? Uh? Because that day I forgot to ask you. Is that, uh, I'm so sorry you're eating, but uh, there are two questions here. So which one do you want to do? Okay, just take a look first, all right? Uh, question one. Question one, huh? Okay. This must hand in your homework. Uh. Please, uh, I really want to see this. Uh. This might be the, the so-called the last homework for this year for your level. Uh. Because next few weeks will be really other things, exam, and I'm preparing you for your paper two exam. That's why today got a paper two practice. And you know that the presidential elections is on the first, most likely first of September. It's a holiday then. Uh, you will know that first of September is actually Happy Teachers Day. But this Happy Teachers Day may be replaced by presidential elections. Therefore, Happy Teachers Day will be on the 11th of September. So you total got uh, 11 days of holidays. Wow. Don't be so happy, huh? Okay, you all don't, don't rest. Huh? These 11 days is actually preparing for your exam, your final year exam, okay? Here's a better definition of failures and success. Okay, how are we going to talk about this? Define, redefine failures and success. Can we please redefine failures and success? Sure. How can we do it? Let's go. Yeah, yeah, please. Thank you. Wow, yeah, yeah. You today is a full moon. Your background is like that kind of, ah, ah, how to say? Ah, ah, Guan Yin Fu Sha that kind. Wow, you got the the that that light, leh. Really, really. Wow, that smile is also the same. Just you added that kind. Okay, let's go. Okay, yeah, I just want to see your smile. Failure is defined as an absence or lack of success. Yeah, yeah, this is a pretty general purpose definition. He allows us to personally define success so we can know whether or not we have failed. The main problem here is that most of us aren't great at defining success. This could leave us feeling like failures when in fact we are actually the opposite. Working and living like this doesn't honor or respect the effort we put into our lives. It's time to redefine. What definition of success and failure do you have currently? Stop. Tell me about stop, uh, stop. Okay, we stop here. The reason I the purpose here is stop here. Thank you for your uh, your read your reading for the first paragraph. Failures is defined as the absence of lack of success. So is it true that really? Yeah, yeah. You ask yourself: Is it true that because you feel you lack the motivation to success? Yeah, yeah. 你是失败是因为你不足够的那个成功率啊？你赞同这个说法吗？讲话啦，不要点头，你要讲 ，Come on， 赞同赞同。那赞同为什么赞同呢？为什么？呃，哎，不要忘记嘞，宝贝，你知道哦，你接下来的的 working life 啊。你老板会问你，哎 ，Hello, excuse me, I pay you five thousand, ten thousand a month. Ah, how come it's failed? What is your problem? Is it because of you, or because of your support? It because of the project lack of fund, because the project lack of technology. You know, ma, these are all part of a whole reason for failures. Like, you know, 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 so what do you think? Back to you, Yaya. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, I think that uh, you have to define failure yourself so that you can like set the line for between failure and success. 
你懂为什么我要问这个吗 ？This is a very serious issue, ah,、uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Recently, um, we have a police case a lot, and and, and you see TikTok, ah,、uh, children missing, leh, 十十二岁、十三四十岁啊，全部就不见，离家出走。What kind of is it? The failures due to what reason? Study stress, family reasons, financial reason, or BGR? You know, it's BGR, yeah, yeah. Boy girl relationship. What what what's wrong with the the present society in Singapore now? Is it getting more and more of this? Then, 还有自杀啦 all these things. So, is this a failure of the the system in in our education system, in our family system, or in the society system? There, there you are. So we can know whether or not we have failed. The main problem here is that the most of us aren't getting a great defining success. So later we read on. Now, please, everyone, even you are busy eating, using your handphone to play your Genshin or whatever games you are playing. Please open up your ears to listen to this, ah,、uh, because it's super important. When I choose this topic, it's super important because you're going to feel that this coming exam. Good luck to you, ah.、Uh, you're going to waste your entire ten months of effort. Seriously, going to waste your ten months of efforts. You know, you think about it yourself, ah. Okay. 命中的那个命运是掌握你在你的手掌手掌心啊 ，is in your palm. If you're going to screw up your this coming exam, then good luck to you. My advice is pay attention. How are you going to plan to have less failure and plan to be successful? One more thing, ah,、uh, to let me remind you, you must have a very strong discipline now. Seriously, because you know why? Sitting here, Yi Ting, Qiao Ling, Ke Ying, Ya Ye, Wei Qi, Zi Ye, Mian Mian, Bo Ren, you're going to be mummy next time. 刚刚 before I start 啊，爷爷 ，I watch the TikTok 啊，你懂四川大地震吗？你们听过吗？有没有听过、哦、四川大地震？没有啊，可能十年前呢、啊，在少林寺是不可以有那种杀生啊、生孩子这些。You know 啊，爷爷啊 ，surprisingly 那个少林寺里面呢、啊、，that period、啊、生产了一百零八个 baby 嘞，刚巧又是一百零八个罗汉。而且那个少林寺叫做罗汉寺 ，if I'm not mistaken, is it coincident? Ah,、uh, Uncle Raymond, sorry, or what could you do with this success and failures? You see, what I'm saying that is it things that you want to define is a failure. A lot of people say, ah,、uh, how kind of a、uh, 少林寺，有女孩子，又有杀生，又看到血，又可以可以可以在那边生孩子，这个是佛佛庙清净的地方。But do you know after that, I literally cried, oh yeah, yeah, I cried in the sense that.、Uh, This monk, ah,、uh, at first feel everyone and feel they are not the two D. Say, oh, how can you go and kill a T and Y in that Sao Shao Ling? And then you know, because he realized that 普度众生，佛门的就是地方就是一个。So why Buddha? I'm not selling you Christianity or Buddhism or religions. Ah,、uh. I'm sharing you. Ah,、uh, great people think with great mind. 明白吗 ？You must think with great mind because how are you define success and failures? Just like 那个和尚这样 ，he really risked his life. I think he's a should be a guy. Ah,、uh, his life to ensure that people survive through. Guess what? This success story, you see, a successful story turned into a motivation to the whole entire China. You see this in other country in the Western country. Yeah, yeah. You get me? You know Haiti? Ah,、uh, H A I T I Hai Hai Haiti. Ah,、uh, one of the country in Central America. When there was earthquake and tsunami, ah, I tell you, ah, wow, big earthquake, shaking, 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 These few weeks, I know you are damn freaking freaking stress. You have to be stressed. So define of it. Come now, I understand. Ah,、uh, let's go. Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah. Don't mind. One more paragraph for the rest, please. Thank you. Some. Well, some of us won't define either for ourselves. Instead, we'll let the shape of them be decided by the people and world around us. We'll be swayed by whoever influences us most, whether that's our boss, friends, friends, or a social media star we never met. This means that whenever, whenever we do, we doesn't match up to their standards. We're feeling, and when we do, 
we are succeeding. Succeeding, succeeding. Succeeding. Others may have an impossibly narrow and as a result limiting definition of success. Living with that definition leaves their most certain destiny destined to fail. There's a hard way to live. And then there is a group of people who never define success and failure, meaning they don't know when they're doing either. That will make everything feel like an aimless snog. That reminds me of the story by Zachary. Uh. Zachary, correct me if I know you're doing sailing, right? Right, sir? Oh, yeah. Ah, I remember you told me, correct me if I'm wrong, you say sailing needs a lot of effort. You have to, at the end of the day, you have to push the sail and the boats to a to, 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 uh, uh, holding place, correct? No? Yeah. Ah, how was it at uh, the beginning when you did it? Uh? Was it very, a lot of very laborious, very tedious, very, wow, you feel like giving up uh, to take up the, the sailing? Uh, honestly, honestly, honestly. Initially, yes, but like you, you have to, at the end of the day, you still have to like pull your boat back up. So. Uh, what, you, you, can't, what you, you don't have a choice now. At the end of the day, you want, you must what? You still have to move your boat back. Because, yeah. Why, why, why must you say you have no choice? You have the choice, right? You can give up, bro. Correct now. You can give up this CCA and join other easy CCA. But why do you perceive? I remember you said something before. I just want to hear from you again. I, what? I just you did say something. I, unless I go and dig up my recording from the video. lah. Why okay, can't you tell me like briefly what is it? What, what did I say? Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, you say that uh, because you start with a P, end with an N. You don't tell me, uh, Mei Mei, don't tell me you're preparing your English and math exam. Uh. You have to suck it out and do it, uh, okay, please. All right. If you keep complaining and doing this, uh, you are getting yeah, you are telling your brain, uh, there's no point crapping over smear meal and things like you know, things like that. You must continue to do it, and you are doing a good job. Uh, okay, me, me. If you continue and telling me die uh, this die, please don't don't uh, don't affect me and don't affect my student here. I don't like to hear negative. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, I believe all students here are leaders, you know how to manage yourself. If one more time anyone sent to me, die, I cannot make it, then please don't. Your job is to tell me, Uncle Raymond, how can I improve myself? Don't tell me I'm going to die for exam. Then it's not fair to tell your parents this, no. Damn it, no. I'm seriously, I'm telling you, all of you, damn it. Because when you're born at the time, your parents never give us, we are some more some eating, we are some more some we are some more yeah, we are some more some yeah, I So, they don't have to complain, so please, you just suck it up and do a good job. That's about it. Because after that, your children will face the same thing. This is where you tell your legacy to your children. Every year the same thing. I'm going to tell you every year the same thing to you. Shut up. Do a good job. I know it's tough. I know study is very tough. Okay, Please don't send me all these things. You don't affect me. I'm sorry. Yeah? But I know you all can make it. Sure can make it. It's not because you give me tuition fee, I'm telling nice thing to you, no. Uh. Okay, exactly. You, you told me that you have the passions to do sailing because this is what you like to see in the sea. Correct me if I'm right. Yeah? I don't remember saying that. I'm not sure la, you, you remember or not, but certain things when students say, me, say to me something, I do really remember. But anyway, it's not easy to do sailing, but you don't give up because you have a discipline, you need to do it, you need to suck it up, right? Correct or not? Because this is your CCA, right? Right, Zachary, do it, do it, ma. Yeah, your parents yeah. might force you, what will force you, but don't forget, the more you force yourself as what, yeah, yes, be reading this. Uh, you see on Chung Tong, Tian Yu. Today, I have more energy after going to H field. Okay, you really moved me to the H. Because of Rich, yeah, I was so surprised that all your school all start with E. Le. Edison, Eisenhower. Uh, how you pronounce the one? E-U-L-E-R? Euler? One Euler? All say, huh? Wow, all the E, you know. Well done, uh, because of HP. You see, it's so creative. The moment I step in your school, I say, wow, this is something different. And your set ones is really marvelous the way they talk. And now, you know, I'm talking to Mr. Aman, right? Yeah. We talk a lot of things. 
<clears throat> we also feel in certain ways when we teach our or talk to our student last time, but we improve ourselves. So yeah, yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh, that you say that's a hard way to live. True, no. And that is the group of people who never define success and failures. These are the people, ah, so we ah, 做一天和尚敲一天钟，得过且过。你听过这句俗语跟成语对吗？我是英文老师嘞。如果我能跟你讲这种道理啊 ，Please for goodness sake, can you stop it 啊 ？I'm seriously, I'm telling you stop it. Die 啊 ，exam coming 啊。你妈咪也说，哎呀 ，die 啦，三点要起来，费牙液喝牛奶。哎呀，那你等一下啊，费完牙液喝牛奶要换他的啊、呃、尿布啊，然后 baby 在带吗 ？They never complain 呢、欸。When they change your pampers 啊。They might feel to make it better. They slowly, surely, definitely, they make it success. To make it what you are today, sitting here to talk to Uncle Raymond, that is the fruit of success. And you're gonna screw, you're gonna screw up the fruit of success by telling me, "Die, I cannot make it. I shall fail." Then, oh, in the first place, pay attention in class. Then, in the first place, do your homework. Then, in the first place, revise your homework. Then, in the first place, continue to do whatever you need to improve. You realize I never say. Then, in the first place, please play lesser game. 我没有这样讲啊。我没有这样讲啊，这个是 recording 啊。OK， continue to play your game because you need to, you have to, you ought to. 不然你会笑啊，整天读书这样。OK， thank you. Kerin, your time please. You know why I call you now? Because you move away from the screen. So I don't want to feel you. I want to make you successful in reading. Thank you, Kerin. Have you talked to your sister already? Yeah. But how come I still haven't received your homework? 你骗我的感情，<笑>我不要跟你讲话了，读。<笑> OK， 开聊。OK，OK， 开聊。There is no need to categorize。明白明白，快！啊，是独立。OK。A success or failure, but when it is appropriate, there is no such. There is no right or wrong way to define these states. It's just that some de definitions or lack of do more harm than good. So having said that, when definition could offer us the what definition could offer us the most benefits, it is pos it's possible that basing the states of success and failure on values might just do it. So when you're reading this, I'm very serious. Ah,、uh. two days ago we celebrate National Day. Fifty-eight. Every year I watch. Ah,、uh, if I watch National Day live, I seriously will cry. Ah,、uh, and I say, may I cry, Miss Eric? Cry, cry because of the joy of success to see Singapore doing well. Ah,、uh, I'm very emotional because I do play a part in in my building my countries. I believe your parents do a lot of parts in Singapore by building up leaders like you sitting now here. I'm not just to for the sake of 夸奖你在讲这种废话 Because it's not easy, ah,、uh, to be honestly to bring out a kids at、like、your age, ah,、uh, especially in this era. 以前的人很容易的，你不听就是啪啪啪啪啪啊，等你就听。现在还不可以啪啪啪啪，鼓励来虐待儿童 ，child abuse, right? And then you see, ah,、uh, Richie, the moment I go to your school, the sad one, ah,、uh, the way they talk. Wow, say I was telling my 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 girls, right, my one wearing girls, she's actually from ah、uh, from Saint Nicholas then to Unora and now NUS, ah.、Uh, 就是哇哦，两个人们，你上你看这些三万真的很成熟 ，very mature and very good. It's a different era. We have to use different way. You see, if a parents were to feel you to talk to you, ah,、uh, it's not your fault, no. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not your fault.、No. You know why? You they have find a way to talk to you, but they are using their way or method to do it. You know that before you came already. You know what I do? I was doing break dance in front of the the, the in front. I say not at、uh, the Uncle Raymond that TikTok that one. Ah,、uh, that one more handsome, but I'm doing break dance, so they were laughing and they were talking, and I talked to some of the student, very profound, very professional, very mature. So what I'm saying that please, you whatever you do, like what Singapore is going through the fifty eight years of hardship, the life is something like that. So I know you have a test, yeah, I I know this is fine, but you see every test always take it this way, our girls and boys leaders, the test is to bring you you for the ladder of success, okay. Success is now the state of living and working according to our values. Thank you. May I have、uh, failures now? The state of living and working in a way that isn't aligned with others. Can you call Han Ling? No, can you? He's not in yet. And uh, Chiao, uh, Jia Xing also not. 
Who is not in? Uh? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, the two of them. Okay. How will this reframe? So back to you, Yiting. How would this reframe make previous so called failures and successes? Like what happened to you? Huh? What happened to you? Are you okay? Yeah. It doesn't sound like your voice. Are you okay? Last week you read very well, but today you read like um like that. You okay now? Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's go. That job interview or promotion you didn't get. Please. There's a some some interruption of your 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 mic, yeah. They got that kind of sound. <laughs> try to fix it. Do not try. Do fix it. Thank you. Carry on. There's job interview or promotion you didn't get. Maybe seen as a carry on. As a successful process because of the way you work towards it and the authenticity of and boldness you represented yourself with. That thing at not getting the job or promotion is minimized by the fact that you showed up for yourself and gave it everything you could. The boss praising you because you are working night and day to deliver that piece of work, which was too big to begin with. Many more of a failure than you think. You failed to push back against your boss for expecting, expecting you to deliver the impossible. You are exhausted and missing your family who barely sees you. You compromise your values around working with structure and balance for approval. It's a high price to pay and the discomfort felt due to being misaligned with your values highlight this space. There's no better way. Thank you so much, eating. But I think because maybe you might make your voice a bit <laughs> not not. No, right. Yeah. There's no better way to talk about Rei Chi school. And today I was in with her school. I asked one of the students when he went round to sell my eco-friendly products to the classmate, to the, the public, to the strangers. Then when he came back, I said, Harish, how is it? Um, uh, Mr. Raymond, I, I, I done my best, but uh, I don't know why. Do you explain when you're buying this product, you are actually helping the poor in Indonesia? When you're helping this poor, that you do some of the money will go to the, the building school. And yeah, yeah, I did explain. You see, he, he failed uh, first time already, he failed. Then I said, never mind. This time you go, okay, with another buddy and then bring the product and then explain and then go around. You know what? After 15, 20 minutes, he came back. He, he collect two, three dollars to sell off something. He even tell me the straw, the straw is a bamboo straw, was three straw into one selling at nine dollars. So he said, Uncle Rim, uh, Mr. Sean, can I sell one straw at three dollars? Why not? Go ahead. This is not in the textbook. This is something, a confidence that he beside, initially was very shy, don't know how to approach. Just like you, uh, they suddenly come approach me. I thought, who the hell come to me and say, they want to buy cupcake? Uh, you must tell me, hi, Uncle Raymond, I'm Ray Chi. I, without hesitation, I will fish my wallet and buy. But I don't know who are you, you see? You get me now? Because, you know, there are people who came to ask, you want to buy things, so it's not nice if I buy this, I don't buy that. But it's good, right? Like, Ray Chi, let's be honest. Is this the first time you go around selling things? No, so, so definitely you can encounter failure, right? People will reject you. I'm not talking about today, other days and other times. Do you do that? You do part-time? Ah? No, like once during uh, SEC 2 VIA, we were selling stuff like crochet materials. Ah, so through that experience, like this year you got some experience, correct? Ah? Right, so next year when you're doing part-time, if you're coming to Uncle Raymond's shops to do part-time, then you know the sales the process is some of the, the one you saw that that lady standing beside me the wearing green right okay she used to be very quite quiet just like yeah yeah and eating and eating and like you like that quite quiet that kind and quite quiet well then said after that when you go to a jc and come out and work uh, and study uh, wow totally which is good you know girls school are uh, girls school right very quite quiet type right now you know it's quite quiet right uh, so it start to change and start to true so really you see from the failure in set two maybe you're not that well successful, down set three, you improve, and then you start to sell, and then, sorry, then you ask yourself, hey, what the hell, ah? I'm selling things, what could you do with study? Do you know, when your parents ah, are working, like rain or shine, every day go to work, then they come back, they only got one motivation, aim, is to make sure I earn enough, for my children, to be successful in life, so sorry, ah, ladies and gentlemen, Including myself. We have so many tons of money. These are all put into the ground. These are all given to you. Wait, you're a fool. 
，说想一想，就当你这些钱啊，瑞奇，你收到了哈，今天的你那些 ，you feel good right， you feel happy right， you feel happy that you have some contribution to your class， 对吗？对不对？对，瑞奇，对不对？你不来，哎，那要鸡蛋啊，咸啊，为什么你给我十块，我不要赚了、啊，我要十块而已啊，浪费我时间。No right， you feel good right， you feel that things， you get me not？ So the same thing when your parents see you have some result 啊。I mean, seriously, they can tell if you really have to feel touch wood, ah, no choice. Because that's the this this today lesson. The boss expecting you something. Your boss is like your parents. You are the staff working in this company. Your family surname, right? Ray Chi, what is your surname again? Why、huh, you must think so long, ah? Liu. Ah,、uh, the Liu family, right? So you see, you are working for Liu Private Limited, right? Ma, your company. So who is your your director? Your father, lah. Who is the vice director? Your mother, right? Correct, lah. Unless you say no. Mummy is a director. Daddy is a vice director. Okay, no problem. Fair enough. So, mummy is the CFO, called the Chief Financial Controller. Daddy is a CEO. Please don't tell daddy. Ah,、uh. this time for can easily override. <laughs> Not executive. Ah,、uh. ah. Sh. So you see, all the daddy is can easily override by the mummy, called the Chief Financial Controller. Okay, this is I come. I come out. Ah, I come out. Ah, I come out. So this is very important. You see. You see, and you see, you are exhausted and missing your family who barely see you. You see, you realize your parents have been working like all the years and suddenly, wow, my son, how much grown up? Hey, Yao Yao, wow, wow, Yi Ting, Qiao Ling, wow, Guo Ren, Mian Mian, Zi Ye, you know Chen Long, ma? You know who is Chen Long, right? And you know who is Chen Long, lah? You know who is Chen Long, ma? So, ah, Chen Long, my cousin, lah. So one day he went to his son's school. Then he waited for his son and say, "Hey, 儿子，为什么你还不在？哦，你你现在在哪里 ，Daddy？ 哦、oh, ，我在你的 Primary School. You know what the Chen Long son tell him, Daddy? 我现在是在中学。杨<笑>烨又是哼。成龙大哥给我们无无微所谓无微不至的那个电影啊，拍的很好的电影，可是他忘记了他的孩子的过程当中，他为了。照顾我们是说观众，他所谓的牺牲的他的时间给他孩子。In English, is that he did a great job for the film industry. He make a legacy for the Chinese kung fu to tell the world. Beside Bruce Lee, there is this Jackie Chan to make sure that the Asians martial arts, the Asians martial art cultures live forever. But because of that, he regretted. He failed to bring the love story and the bonding with his son. It's over already. But how are you going to put put it that put it back by making his son to join him in the film industry? Life is too short, seriously, right? Thank you so much.、Uh, may I have Chow Ling, please? Are you able to read today, my dear? Why is redefining in this way helpful? I've previously written about the importance and benefit of knowing your values. Defining success and failure based on them goes one step further. It makes you aware of how you are determining determining powerful states in your life. Whether we fail or succeed, we're most likely going to have a strong and sometimes lasting reaction to these states. Those reactions might affect us physically and emotionally. They may influence how we see ourselves and the world around us. They could also sway decisions or choices we go on to make. This means our reaction to success and failure have an impact, small and big, on us and our lives, making the control we have over whether we succeed or fail essential. Welcome back to your voice, man, Charlie. Welcome back, and I hope you, your brother and sister, settle down with me. Ah, <laughs> not easy to be a 大姐 Okay. Ah,、uh, let me explain this paragraph. It is so important that、uh, the influence of the life, whether big or small, especially now these few months, ah,、uh, most of you have to make some decisions going forward to next year's set four. It's going to be a very tough year in next twenty twenty four. Ah, Mimi can share with you now. She is also struggling, but during the struggling of the process, just like a butterfly, right, from a cocoon you become the butterfly. Here, this butterfly is struggle. When the snake, ah,、uh, the skin, the whole body, he also have to struggle. In life, is struggling. Without struggle, you don't appreciate certain part of your life. But then again, ah,、uh, what I mean, don't talk anyhow. Close to six point. Oh, 
Okay, you're doing well, okay? Don't talk anyhow, or I tell you, okay, you tell me what. <laughs> I don't know what he's telling me, maybe. So, hey, hi, Quarren Sabala. Okay, so when we see this success and failures, it's based on your achievement. Whether big or small, what you say that you have to make a decision to decide whether you think this uh, success is worth it as considered a part of your value through the process of failure, you know that how you define success. Sometimes you might think to you is a failure, to others that you have done well with it, you have done very good with it. Nobody is perfect in this world. Nobody is like God and do everything. Okay? Uh, may I have uh, who else? Do you have your time, please? Defining success around values gives you the, this control. It puts you, not your boss or the world, in control of whether you succeed or fail. It allows you to work towards success in an authentic, flexible, and tangible way. Of course, you may not be able to live and work in a way that aligns to your values all the time, but when you can't, at least, you know, you try to, should I say try or change it? Of course, I'm waiting for you, smart girl. <laughs> Wait, I don't know what to change it. Okay, you attend you attend to you know you have done your best. Have done your best. This definition may also allow for you to find success in situations where traditionally failure was the only option. The importance of this, how work, efforts, and whatever else they contributed won't go unnoticed, masked by the usual cloud and tarnished failure brings with it. So I very successfully brainwash you, Zie, and kind of tell you that no more in your life the words must be encrypted with try. But now I've successfully tell you that, Zie, take away the try, make it successful in your head that I must do it. So once you have this mentality, whatever you do is that no trying. It's either I do it or I don't do it. That's all. And that's in your school. You cannot have these things that, oh, I, I try to do it. Then you give people a discount, right? So this is what I meant. Okay, uh, thank you so much. May I have a uh, quorum? The feedback we get from succeeding and failing, no matter how much it thinks, is valuable. It allows us to know when we're heading in the right direction and when we need to make adjustments. Redefining success and failure to values-based definition isn't about minimizing failure and maximizing success. It also isn't about defining everything in terms of these two. When thinking in these terms, is helpful. However, this redefinition offers us more flexibility in how we view highly influential states in our work and life. It gives us the opportunity to lower the bar of perfection, step away from the influence of the world and the people around us, and find success in an important skill following our values. So, the next time you're feeling the sinking sting of failure, please ask yourself whether you follow your values. Yeah, what kind of values are we talking about, Warren? My value is that, um, not just giving up, my value is self-discipline. My value is self-belief. My value is self-passionate about something. If I don't like math, I really don't like math. But if I know that I need math to help my student, to help my children, to help somebody, I die, die, have to involve in it. So what is the values? Back to you, Warren. Like my personal values? Yes, or? please. Correct. So, well, okay, sorry to interrupt. So, for example, when you say you, you encounter failure or, you know, NCC, sure, got some junior that tell you, ah, this, ah, this, ah, oh, that cannot. Then you, of course, you you know they are king, right? You know it's king, right? They pretend to, you know, to see by you from your, 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 your soft spot, you know. I don't know how they call you. They call you senior or something like that, right? Say, ah, oh, senior, very uh, uh, Sorry? No, they, sergeant. Uh, sergeants cannot uh, very tired. Then you know they are not really that painful or whatever. So how uh, back to you? Um okay, so do I do I say my personal values or yes, like, please. Values? anything, anything? Yeah, anything. I'll, I'll just say like my solution to the matter. Because like I understand, because like I've been through my junior years, I understand how like the training can be very tiring and draining at times. So like 
I will allow them to sit out for a while. And when they are feeling better, they can rejoin the platoon. Oh. Because I know like uh, my two junior platoons, they are very hardworking and like, um, they are they are also very proud. So they don't actually like to sit out because they, they ego feel, ego yeah they like embarrassed of sitting out. However, I just like make them sit out for a while because like I know that um if they are mentioning that they are unwell, it really means that they're actually unwell and not faking it. Ah yeah. oh, okay. So that means your value is to have a listening ear lah, right? Now pay attention. So that's your value. So you are a very patient and um, understanding and cooperative sergeants. Well, some would not be like that. So they feel that they push it out until you cannot knock it out. That's my generation where I was in the army. Eh? Seriously. Until you really literally knock it out. That's what happened to me. I got physical exhaustion. I run until pukong, then the, the stretcher, the ambulance came, sent me to uh, a cooling system and then find out that I really cannot, things like that. Uh, that is the uh, I would say success or failures, but that is one way of training you out to be toughen up yourself. Uh, continue, please. Thank you. You might... <coughs> Warren. Well, you might just find that looking at things through this lens highlights some success you might have otherwise missed. So you see, Warren, you're putting a lens upon the junior, which you were a junior before, right? So you're putting the lens to look at the, the, the different angles they are facing. Just like putting yourself in the shoe and you went through the juniorship before, uh, then you'll be more understanding. Some are uh, two types of leaders. Uh. One of the leaders, they are very appreciative because they went through the ship last time, the senior had tortured them. So they don't want to bring this uh, in, in the, the kind of stress, the kind of nightmare to the junior. The other type is crazy, uh, sadies. Uh. They will bring this to the next junior. So depends on which group you want to be. Uh. All right, thank you. Now, uh, you all have to do this uh, as a homework. Uh, we have to submit to Uncle Raymond. So this is an insert uh, that we are talking about here. Okay. I hope you can look through this. Like I said before, uh, some of you will be having the new text, visual graphic text. I was thinking hard. I was thinking to leave it as it is, the four question instead of the multiple choice. Okay, so I would like to use this as my test. So you, I told you before, there's a four corners, which is very important. I know the IP student will not be doing this, but never mind, just take it as a practice. So I'm not the medicine. This is a rhino, uh, the horn of the rhinos. I'm not a trinket. This is the ivory of an elephant. I'm not a rock. So this is the skin of the tiger. So you can see this, uh, all this thing here. Uh, all these uh, mostly are Asian people like to use it, all right? So uh, wildlife, um, the first thing that look at the picture, whether the new visual graphic text or the this old visual graphic text, the next, next thing that you need to see, uh, late, uh, those of you express and NA students who are doing this, is uh, ask yourself, so what is this visual graphics going to talk about? Um, it's talking about you no know, traffickings, approachings of uh, these um, extincts of animals. Then what is the purpose that you want to bring to tell us? And how are we going to answer the questions? Uh, the, the thing is, uh, yeah, yeah, it's called Prata. I think some of you know, uh, Kei you heard before, right, Kei? Eating, you heard before, right, eating? Maybe not for Rui Qi. Rui Qi, you heard before, right, Prata? Not that like Indo Jianping, huh? Okay, like a prata, yeah, correct. Can you have you heard before, right? I think you, you listen to this already. Yeah. What uh what, heard of what? What does a P R A T A stand for? Yeah, uh Wait, see, first thing. time see that, huh? Wait, see, first time, uh, yeah, yeah, first time uh, I don't think so, right? Warren seen before, Charlie seen before, right? I think okay, I heard forgot. Never mind, Charlie. Uh Zhi seen before already, Han Ling seen before. How Xian Pyong Jiang confirm one lawyer student for so many years should see before. Oh, why are you walking? Why are you show me your sexy leg, man? Scary man. And someone walking in the dark. I am the boss. I'm coming off the bus. Hi guys. Hi guys. Hi. Oh. Okay. Tell me what is the P stand for? Is it purpose? I can't hear you, my dear. Sorry. Is it purpose? That's right. What is the purpose of this visual graphic text? That's the P. I write down our child uh wait. He. It will definitely help you in your source-based question, your history, whatever things are. P 
stands for purpose. And then what about the R? Back to you, Charlie. Not too sudden. I'm getting this mixed up with, I think, other okay. subjects. All right, no problem. P stands for purpose, ready? R stands for, is it reliable? Is this visual graphic text, this poster reliable? Of course, reliable, right? Yeah, yeah. Please kill more rhino. Please kill more elephant. Please kill more, elephant, please kill more tiger. So that we will not have all these animal D and correct now, correct, right? What is is it reliable? The third one is A stand for audience. Who are they targeting to? Which audience, Wei Qi? Uncle Raymond love all these animal. Definitely not for me, right? So imagine this picture is a smoker who show the face very ugly. Who is the audience? Of course, to me la. No serious, serious, Wei Qi. I'm a smoker. So when I see the picture, wow, piano, oh my God, so ugly. I think my wife would not want to kiss me. My children also want to kiss me already. Eh, so dirty. So target audience, me, ah. what, to deter me from smoking, do you know? So who is the target audience for here? People who want to use these animals for their own decoration in, in, at home, right? Do you know? That's an audience. So what is the T? Write down, T is the tagline. The tagline, where is the tagline? Tagline for Nike is just do it. Tagline for Subway is eat fresh. Tagline for McDonald's is blah, 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 blah. Just loving it. The tagline, T2, tagline. What about the last A? Correct, wow. McDonald's is blah, 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 blah. Aya, this is my son, the most young, 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 the There's this advertisement about this uh, granny and the grandson. The last A is an A, W, and 1H. Where can you find this poster? Okay, which animals do you think is the most serious one? What is the purpose of this poster? Okay, why do you think they put out this poster? Who is the target audience? Where do I get the information to prevent this animal from being extinct and being killed <laughs> poorly or, or bloodily or whatever it is? Because it's, dead, it's a dead serious. So who is the target? So, so the AW, how can we prevent this? The eight W and one H. Okay, so look at this one. It refer to refer to the statement. I hope you all can do huh, and submit to me. Yeah, like I said before, right? If you don't do it, just want to read through. Fine with me. Yeah, okay. But I'm just going through because the face to face face to face examination. Ah, uh, yeah, Warren and all of you are coming will be doing something like that. But for the IP student, I might be different. If you are coming, I'll be giving you different sets of IP paper. Okay, and I do have IP paper. Ah, uh. okay. Refers to this. Ah, uh, very tired. Eh. Hey. Can you, can you read to the class, please? Okay. Refer to the, Refer to the statement below the, pair, the photographs of your, the animals. Uh, uh, mm. Okay. What is the effect of the use of eye on the reader? So I just, just make out a story. Uh, the moment you see eye, so wait, see, imagine you're a smoker. You look at the picture very ugly. So you're referring to I. Right? I think I better don't smoke, man. I smoke, I'll be like this ugly girl. All the teeth so dirty, the face so wrinkled. I, blah, 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 blah. I don't want the one. So the eye is a very strong refractive. Huh? When you see the word eye in any poster, it's very refractive. Very simple, my right? <clears throat> You go around with your friend with the poster, right? So when people see this poster, when I, when I see the poster, I mean, wow, the ice cream, the, the, the tarts is very mild. Very nice, sorry. I will want to purchase it. Get it now. It's more personalized, more, more, um, 怎么讲, you naka, um, how you say in Chinese? Uh, you, you naka, 不是安全感, 比较有那个, very closely related to yourself like that. That's very important, okay? So what are you going to do about it? Okay, let's go. Continue. Yeah, please. Okay. How do the images of the animals at the bottom of the poster complement the text in the boxes? Obviously, la. you see these three animals going to die in front of the, the knife, cutting them. They, they, they just put to sleep. Then after they cut them, after when they wake up, maybe they are so painful and they have an SSD. Surely, sure, surely, slowly and surely and definitely they will die in an excruciating pain. You know that the so they are really they don't put anesthesia or ma yang all these things and just cut and kill the Chinese just to test on because of the biological warfare. So same thing. So how do you complement to the boxes, the image and the boxes? So wait, by one pulu, some more. Yeah, yeah. 
，你不要不知道啦，你说呢？瑞奇，百闻不如什么？啊，真的吗？乔林懂吗？不懂，国人懂吗？百闻不如一见。哦哦哦哦哦哦，说得好哈哈，对不起，我没有那个呼吸。<笑>百闻不如一见，就是说 ，a picture speaks a thousand words。Get it now? So he compromised to tell you, if you look at the pictures, you don't spill it, ah.、Uh. Hey, hello, brother and sister. I write to you. I show you. No, very bad, lah.、Eh. You see, at least one rhino is killed every day due to the mistaken belief that rhino horns can cure cancer and handovers. You know, it's handover now. 喝醉酒，你喝那个这个羚羊呢？喝好像喝羚羊这样。所以羚羊是那个鹿的那个那个 horn 呢、啊。所以每次我小时候生病哦，瑞吉，我妈咪就会拿羚羊给我喝，哇，很难喝嘞。她要放那个冰糖这样，我要盖住嘴巴，也鼻子要喝。那后来她说我的头痛发烧会慢慢的逐渐的好，啊，怪处啊，呃、uh, ，but at the end of the day 啊，瑞吉 ，I still have to take Western medicine <笑>。<笑>赔了夫人又折兵，所、so, 以所谓百闻不如一见，你见的那个东西好过写一千个字，对吗 ？But the words compromise in the sense that look at these pictures is very nice. So, ah,、uh, Ke Ying, Wei Qi, Yi Yi Ting, and all of you, Ya Ye, and Zachary, okay, and Guo Ren, and Mian Mian, and Hao Xuan. Imagine I show a girl, a baby, ah,、yeah, and beside there's a voucher. No voucher, ma? Ya Ye. 那种吃的那个鸟，那个什么鸟啊？那个叫黄文叫什么鸟啊 ？You know a voucher, not rich. You know it's a voucher, and then I see a voucher. There's a picture in YouTube. Ah,、uh. the photographer who took this picture later, ah,、uh, cannot take it. He won the best award in the world, but later he commits suicide. So what happened? There's this voucher and baby, and the word say, "Are you going to save him?" Wow, very powerful statement. So when he she when he took the picture, it's a guy. If you're not mistaken, when he took this picture, a lot of people criticized him. Hey, wow, hello, Xiao Ah, you know this voucher is going to eat the 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 baby, uh, the this little child. You still can take the pictures, ah. But the purpose of him taking this picture is to tell the whole world Africa is suffering, is starving, and you guys are wasting food. Hey, hello, wake up, please donate and save Africa. But you see, there's another group story of 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 a different group of people. Now you understand why. Visual graphics has some impact to you. Okay, next question, please. Explain clearly why the word "did" in "it's did" serious is suitable in this poster. If、uh, for me, I'll take it. Is if you are not doing it, ah,、uh, ah,、uh, all of you listen, ah.、Uh, it's going to be dead serious by end of October or mid of October when you get your result. You do not pass well. You know what is the consequences? So what does it mean? That means by hook or by crook. 不管三七，要演什么？三七二十一。我不是跟你讲啦，我要问亚燕吗？谢谢你，绵绵。对，不管三七二十一，三十六计走回什么？哈哈哈。三十六计。三十六计走回什么？三十六计。对，三十六，三十六计走回三七，对吗 ？So you realize that we need to find ways. To do it by end of this month and next month, you have to my toe. Wait, see what? I'm now teaching Chinese. My toe, what? Yiting, Keying, Yim Yaye, you know? My toe, what? Zhiyue, Qiaoling, Guo Ren, Mian Mian. My toe, hard. 可以这样讲，把我要找的是埋头苦干，事倍功半，听过哈？听过吗？啊，你看不错哦，你学英文还有学成语，哈哈哈，我很喜欢用华文成语，是真的，四个字，喜欢你不喜欢你，爱你不爱你，骂你全部用四个字讲你，赢了咯。English cannot, English cannot. I hate you, I love you, I miss you, I talk to you, everything must long use long long word one. An apple out of eye, an apple study keep the doctors away. Wow, very long. Okay, 你是我的掌上什么？谁可以跟我讲吗？掌上什么？真的不懂啊。Zachary, you know, no. Zachary 是我的掌上什么？明珠啊，不是那个猪八戒的猪哦，是那个珍珠的珠啊。你不要误会啊。Okay, question number four, please. So you understand the meaning of date serious? Ah,、uh, that means it's a very paramount 
important immediate actions. Back to you, Zachary. I'm sorry, uh, Tinyu. Which statement gives the main purpose of the poster? Uh, this one I cannot tell you. Lah. So sorry. Uh. This one I cannot tell you. Okay, because uh, this one, if I tell you, means you already know the answer. Okay. Which statements give you the most importance of this poster? Okay, is it this one? Is it this one? Hi, where is it? Jia Xing, turn on the camera. I have a question. Yes, who's that? Ah, Chiao Ling, yes. Yeah. Um, what does statement mean? Is it a sentence? Is it a phrase? Is it a few words? When it's a statement, uh, it can be starting from one word to seven words or a sentence with 12 to 50 words. Okay. okay, so for example, don't mind since you're asking, hey, telling us, so he's like, hey, what statement you want to talk about me? So one of the students will say, you are, you sucks. So it's one word, sucks statement. So you can say, uh, what's the statement you want to talk about, agreement? Um, well, you're pretty cool, uh, something like that. So another statement can say that, what's the statement you want to, to, to bring across to the student here? Success comes with a series of failures. Before you can be successful, Think about why you need to feel. So it can be a statement like that. But then uncle is a bit long. Yeah. So the statement itself sometimes is from one word to seven words. But take it as a statement, meaning that what statement you see, if you say what which sentence is also a giveaway. So when I say which sentence are you know already it's definitely more than one word, right? But actually one word also can be a sentence, right? You put it way true now. Help one sentence. Do you Right, Richie. Help on three times. Help. Help! 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 Right? Right? The other one is like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm are you good for nothing or not? Ah, so it's very sarcastic, right? Right. So hey, Chowling, please, uh, for goodness sake, you're a bad liar. No? So is it good or bad? No? So it's good, right? That means you will not talk about the lie. You will not talk about the lie. For example, I will not talk about the lie. Then you will not talk about the lie. Then you will not talk about the lie. Then you will not talk about the lie. So hey, please, uh, you're a bad liar. Don't, don't, don't do that, okay? Ah, so something like that. So I know that you don't know the meaning. The purpose of it. So the statement itself is to bring out the essence, what you want to portray. So for example, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, like Chou Yan, like, what is the statement? Smoking kills. You see, it's a statement. It also can be a catchphrase. Okay, smoking kills your next few generation. Wow, even powerful statement. Do you believe? Right. Then another statement: smoking made Uncle Raymond very happy. Yeah. 你没有听过吗饭后一根烟接下去所以可以接下来所以可以讲吗如果你讲就是你是抽烟的人了饭后一根烟快乐如神仙哈哈哈饭后一根烟快乐如神仙所以我签了 <笑> 饭后一根烟,吃西瓜变成更健康 Let's move on to the next one. Any questions? Chia Ling, thank you for asking this. No more, huh? okay. So next, uh, I have to go a bit faster because we are going to do the, the warrant your steam huh? because I've been holding on for too long already. A man who lived underground by Richard Wright is about a man who makes a home in city sewers after he's accused of a murder. <coughs> in this passage, he's on the run from the police. So on the run is like a fugitive, right? 就是逃,逃,逃,不是爱的逃兵啊,是逃跑,就是run away啊. It's a criminal, right? Tired of running, he deciding whether to hide or to surrender. Yeah, it's very true. Uh, Sometimes, uh,逃避不是现实啊。逃避是正在,逃,逃避你的所谓的, um, I would say it's like running away from these kind of things is like not fair to yourself because you are running forever. You are running without a, 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 a it's like a full stop. You need some time to have a full stop in life to complete whatever you do, all right? So may I have Zachary, are you ready to read this? The first two paragraphs. Uh, 
Are you able to? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 sorry, 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 sorry. Let's go. Uh, I've got to hide. He do himself. His chest heaved as he waited, coaching in the dark corner of the enclosed space. So you see, uh, the first paragraph, uh, sorry, I want paragraph by paragraph, I need to explain to you all. I've got to hide, he told himself. So this is creating an atmosphere, like writing an essay. So the very interesting statement is that his chest heaved as he waited. And he's creating uh, the motivation, the mood and crouching in a dark corner of the enclosed space. So that means he's hiding in a very secluded, very quiet, very dark alley and, and, and full of maybe a rubbish chute or a dam or something like that. So please, when you're doing this kind of comprehension, please make your imagination to run swell. Okay, carry on next paragraph, sir. Hello, brother. Carry on next paragraph, sir. Zachary. Okay, a police car switch by through the rain, his siren rising sharply. They're looking for me all over. He crept to the door and squinted through the foggy plate glass. Okay, can you, can you zoom in a bit because I cannot see like something. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. I also cannot see well. Okay, is it better? Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. He stiffened as the siren rose and died in the distance. The police car would come back again. Yes, he had to hide, but where? He grits his teeth. Then a sudden movement in the street caught his attention. A throng of tiny columns of water sneak into the air from perforations of a manhole cover. The column rose abruptly, as though the perforations had become clogged. A grey spout of sewer water jutted up, up from the underground and lifted the circular metal cover. Juggled it for a moment, then let it fall with a clap. When you see, thank you, realize that I bracket the first sentence of each paragraph after the full stop. Huh? It is very important already. This will go all the way to your university. Huh? You can check with your daddy, mommy, mommy huh? or even your auntie, uncle who are doing this. Because the first sentence is actually like a topic sentence. And the first sentence is actually want to bring out the essence of what we are going to describe to you, the whole entire paragraph, the whole action pack. So a police car switch by true. The rain is rise, rise, rising sharply. That means this group of police cars are looking for him high and low, okay, without any fear. That means die, die, they have to catch him so bad huh, that he has to really hide somewhere like Spider-Man or not, to hide in one corner like the Joker like that. So what is saying that this paragraph here, when you see this, please bring in your imagination. Put yourself during the exam, if you happen to see this kind of passage, put yourself inside the person position. So yeah, yeah imagine inside Taunan. 你懂我意思吗？你要把好像你做理解问答，你就要把你那个所谓你是那个作者，那个不是读者了，那个作者那个里面那个那个main characters how you feel. You get me not ready? So, 如果有人在追你, I mean, of course, 那些 Jackson Wang 啊，那些 啊，美啊，Ching 那Hamson该追你, of course, you don't mind. Come and chase me. <laughs> but 如果是坏人来追你，瑞吉，你better run, right? Okay. I mean, I don't like all, all the pretty girl chase after me, lah, okay? But unfortunately, not possible. Lah, okay, thank you. No need to laugh. No need to criticize me. No need to send a message and tell me I'm very ugly. I know myself. Yeah, I know myself. I know who is going to send to me. Who else but me, man? Thank you very much. Okay, so next paragraph, me, I have. Who else I not read? Uh, Harling, are you able to read? Jiaxing, can you turn on your camera? Jiaxing, are you able to read the next paragraph? Are you there? Five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, you're shitting fine. Uh, Justin, are you able to read? No? One, two, three. I can read, I can read, I can read. Don't worry. No, no, no. Don't I want Justin, I want Justin to reply me. Justin, Justin, yes. No? Okay, you want to read? Come, let's read. All right. No, no. Uh, main, main, main. It's main, main. Sorry. Right, I'm so sorry. Huh? Why Josh What? You want to read, right? Mimi, you say I can read, ma? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, read, lah. Mimi. Later, oh, which one? read the next paragraph. For which one? There's only one paragraph here. Okay. He has a... Sorry. Oh, he had a tentative plan. He would wait until the siren sounded far off. Then he would go out. He smoked and waited. 
tent. At last, the siren gave him his signal. It well dying, going away from him. He stepped to the sidewalk, then paused and looked curiously at the manhole, half expecting the cover to leap up, leap up again. He went to the center of the street and stopped and peered into the hole, but could see nothing. A water rustled in the black depth. Oh my goodness, seriously, it's so stink and bad. Uh, if you really go to the sewage, the sewage tunnel. Uh, and I can tell you, uh, if a person were to start to smoke and wait in tents, uh, as a smoker, I'm telling you, uh, Usually when a smoker starts to smoke, uh, it's three things. It's either very tense, very stressed, or really nothing better to do than to kill tons. So whatever it is, when you say tense, means he's so stressed and he's still um, tense up and stressed, then you need to find a way. At the same time, he might want to use the smoke to cover the, oh, the stinky smell of the sewage tunnel. Okay, seriously possible. Uh, okay, uh, Reiti. When I was in army at that time, I went in the, in the army. Uh, we do have to smoke. At that time, it's still not so bad. Uh. We have to smoke to get rid of what mosquito in the forest. Do you Smoke ma? Do you But then again, it's not good for health. Then the, the smoking is also to kill times in the forest at this time. No, at this time in the forest, at this time now. What can you do at this time? Watch video. Uh. Last time we got no Wi-Fi, no, we got no handphone. It's so boring, right? Okay. Thank you. So this is paragraph three. Han Ling, are you able to read paragraph four, please? Yes, I am. He said with terror, the police had returned. The siren sounded so near that he had the idea that he had been dreaming and had awakened to find the car upon him. He dropped instinctively to his knees and his hands grasped the rim of the man. His fear of the police was stronger than his fear for the water and the darkness. He had to hide. Okay, he started with terror because he thought the police go off already, but come back again, came back again. And the son, so they might be thinking that um that this person is not running too far. Maybe he want to go back and check again. And then he realized that, oh my goodness, his idea of going away, you cannot find him, but come back. And then he dropped instantly to his knee, means that he's giving out hope. Okay, he wants to go to the manhole, where that, the manhole is the one I told you, the sewage tunnel. So his fear, I mean, this is definitely not in Singapore, it's like a passage in US or in England or in the Western country where this. So he fear of the police stronger and his fear of water and his darkness. So practically he's on a very serious, very intense, very stressful, run away from the cops with the police so that he can make a great escape from them for whatever reason. Okay, carry on. Uh, thank you. Jiaxing, are you able to read? Are you there? Okay, which, which paragraph? Oh, give me a minute. Huh? I move up to five. Is it five? Yes, five. How Shen, are you able to read? Are you there, How Shen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go. With a wild gasp of exertion, he snatched the cover far enough off to admit his body. He swung his legs over the opening and lowered himself into the weight. Watery darkness. He hung for an, an internal moment to the rim by his fingertips. Then he felt rough metal prongs. Is that prongs? Yes. And then once he knew that silver workmen has used these riches to lower themselves into the manholes. Face over face, he let his body sink until he could feel no more prongs. He swayed in the dark space. The siren seemed to howl at the every rim of the manhole. He dropped and was washed violently into an ocean of warm, leaping water. His head was better against a wall and he wondered if this were death. Presently, his fingers uh, clawed and sank into the crevice. He slipped. What is that word? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I got an urgent call. Where, where are you? I'm so sorry. Frenzy, uh, is he, it he's the slither. Slither. This one? 30, 30, 30, 30. Uh -huh, he's steady? I uh, steady himself and measured the strength of the current with his own muscular tension. He stood slowly in water that dashed past his knees fearful, 
velocity. As he explored the tunnels, he knew that he was in danger, but an irrational impulse prevented him from leaving. Instead, he moved forward, looking for a dry hiding place for a safe way out. Wow. So, how Shay, when you're reading this, are you like in the person's shoe, running, going down the sewage, holding it, the manhole, where the pipe, and then he dropped and was washed finally into the ocean of warm, sleeping water. He yucks, and he was better against the wall and hit here and there. It's just like, you know, really going down to a tunnel that full of, wow, unexpected dirty stuff, and he steady himself and move his strength to look through and hold on using all his might and possibility that he can help to change the whole entire process. How? Not easy, huh? This whole paragraph tells you that he's really by hook or by crook, die, die, okay? In the nick of time to do a narrow escape. No matter how he has to do it, why? Right? Because if you get caught, good luck to him, it's gone. Okay, how, how do we know that we put that person in the shoe yourself is very important. It's just like, you know, if you have go through this kind of escape or this kind of things, yeah, you will feel it. It's just like, I know, why he's smoking. He's thinking of way by smoking, he might want to relax instead and think of a, a way of doing things. So this paragraph itself tells you very simple, straightforward. Let me ask one of them. So Quarren, what do you think when Hao Xian is reading this? Are you following like a movie like that, following through the whole shows like that? Let's back to you, Quarren. Um... I'm not sure. So can I answer later? Because I'm still thinking. Mm, anyone? Uh, so yeah, how about you? Is Zuyue here? Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah. What do you think when how she is reading this? Um, like what I think about is this reading. Oh yeah. Passage. How do you feel the situation? Like a scene? You see, it's a very action pet, right? He moved about, he nearly fell inside that wall, all the water crushing him. He said it was better against the wall. He wondered, oh, instead of getting the police to catch him, he might be dying inside and nobody knows him, you know, things like that. Manhole, right? You know, it's a manhole, right? Inside where all the sewage, all the dirty stuff, right? seriously. You won't want to go in there, right? seriously. I, I have been there before, not really all the way, halfway through, I tell you. It's really full of shit. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. What do you think? So, yeah. And it's like, um, like I can really feel like the atmosphere of the, like the story, like the um, like the extent of the, like the manholes and how, it's like, not a very pleasant place to be in. Definitely, I like the place. In definitely, it's not a pleasant place to be in. But but how would you feel when you like, for example, now you are in the situations? So when you're doing this kind of comp comprehension passage, how what is the next thought that comes to your mind? You need to do that, uh, because he might ask you this kind of question later on. Uh. Why? For me, if I'm to hear, I the next thing is that whether can I escape from this particular situation? For me, I would think that if this is the one, am I if the, the person, the author? the person who wrote this story or the person who was involved in the story, is he determined to get out of the situation, determining uh, uh, determinations of getting out of it? Or is it just to surrender or uh, fail to succeed and therefore finally get caught? Quarren, you understand? No, it's just done. No, okay. Uh, may I have, uh, Zuyue, will you mind read this one, this paragraph, please? He heard a prolonged scream of breaks and the siren broke off. Oh God, they had found him. Looming above his head in the rain, a white face hovered over the hole. How did this thing get off? He heard a, a policeman ask. He saw a steel car moving slowly until the hole looked like a quarter moon turned black. Aha, ha, ha. Oh my God, he's coming out from the surface, right? That means it's from one, this area is going to go by this area. Then when they come out, it's just turn up, the, 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 they move the cover like a crescent moon. And then somebody, hey, how is it? So maybe. Maybe this guy is really helping him. Maybe when you see this, he heard a police ask. So is it going to like the is a decoy to make the police to think that he's escaping there? 
Okay, so these kind of things you must know, ah, uh, already. So when you're doing yeah, yeah, when you're doing this, I know when you go to step four, the, the, the passage is given tougher. When you go to A level, good luck to you. Uh. Okay, so you cannot read that kind of no more that kind of storybook with really. it. You need to read a lot of those newspaper articles or these kind of books that really bring your imaginations. Uh. Wait, can you have the last one? I think it's the last paragraph. Yes, Ray T, last paragraph. So you see, uh, this must record. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You must record this all the way to here. So I told you every sentence now for now on, when you're doing your comprehension, whether you express your NA, your NT, your IB, your IP, or your A level, please, for now on, take a pencil, bracket the first sentence of each paragraph. And this is where you read every single sentence of each paragraph. It's like a summary, all right? Back to you. Wait, G. Give me a hand here, someone called. The cover changed into place. The, the cover clanged into place, muffling the size and sounds of the upper world. The police had left. Knee deep in the housing current, he breathed with aching chest, filling his lungs with the hot stench of yeasty. Uh, uh. No, no, not you do your uh, thing. Or you do the that like is the rot. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Okay, Carol. You were safe once more. Have you watched the Madagascar? When they escape, they go to the manhole, the tunnel there with all the shit and dirty stuff. Or if you watch some movie, yeah. Uh, oh my goodness, seriously. Or if you watch any Tano movie, like go in the tunnel, all the sewage, all the rubbish thing. Oh, there was this movie called the Hack Sean Rex something. I can't remember to, how to pronounce. Uh, this guy already. He was being accused to kill his wife and he was sentenced uh, innocently for the next 30 years or 20 years. So he didn't look at it. He found a way to get prison. So one day, uh, he managed to go through in the cell, uh, the prison cell, he took a hole. He took a hole to travel all the way until he hit the sewage pipe. That's what those people are doing. So that things, all the shit all spread out on his face. Oh my goodness. Sorry if you are not eating your, your supper or dinner. Then the moment you go inside the sewage, you know how bloody this thing uh, he has he had to swim or crawl, sorry, crawl for 200 or 300 meters all the way out until the pipe come out with a pool of all the shit. That was in the 1960s, uh, or 60 yeah. Uh. So he managed to come out. The next thing you know what he do, he went to the nearby pond, uh, took out all his clothes, and then with a soap, uh, he, he put the soap inside the plastic bag. He bathed there. He changed his whole entire, all the prisoner uniform away and finally made an escape. It's a true story. It's a real true story. Let me find the name of the, uh, of the movie. It's a very nice story. Seriously. Okay, it's a white guy and a black guy. And uh, if you haven't watched another movie, it's called The Front of the Class. That is a super good movie also. It's a true story about a teacher who got some uh, uh, thorax problems who can speak uh, 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 like that. And he was one of the best teachers in the US. So these are the questions. So ladies and gentlemen, let's attempt the questions. And I hope, oh, you still got eight, nine, ten. Uh. Oh my goodness, so sorry. Uh, Ray T, can you continue number eight for us, please? And number nine will be E T. Number 10 will be Ke Ying. Don't mind, uh. Let's go. From the perforations, from the perforations, of the manhole cover, delicate lenses of hazy violet sifted down and wove a molten pattern upon the surface of the streaking current. So when you are reading this kind of passage and with these kind of sentences, uh, confirm, uh, ready, uh, they might give you this kind of question to ask you, what does it mean? Why is it purpose? Use your own words, please quote. Uh, take note of all these things. Uh. When you read until you say, wow, so team, uh, so difficult. There's a possibility we'll ask you this kind of question. Uh. Take note, uh. carry on. His lips parted as a car swept past along the wet pavement overhead, overhead. Its heavy rumble soon dying out, like the hum of a plane speeding through a dense cloud. He had never thought that cars could sound like that. Everything seemed strange and unreal here. Under here, under here. Under here. He stood in darkness for a long time, knee deep in rustling water, deep in thought. What would you do, uh, Reiti, if you're like him? Hello, can I call Grant? Hello, taxi. <laughs> Hello, Kishaki. Help me. 
you don't forget he's a wanted man. Uh. What will you do? Uh? Call you. Uh. Okay, uh, thanks. What will you do, Arisi? No, no, that is the next paragraph. Don't read the next paragraph, okay? What will you do? Don't, don't, don't play cheat. Uh. What will you do if you are him? If you are the person? I tell you, I will think of a way to run as a way as far as possible out of this stupid place, correct? Uh. Do you think? Look what you got. 一个巨男来追你, of course, you better run away 十万八千里, right? To find a way to escape. So what would you think? I would think I'm very worried. My next move is that I want to do it secretly, as fast as possible, and away from danger. Thank you. Uh, who's that? Uh, Kain, is it? <coughs> Kain. After some time. After some time. Following a faint sound he could not identify, he came to a section of the tunnel that was taller and had fresher air. He grouped along, using a pole to test the depth of the water in front of him and occasionally, occasionally lit a match for a brief bit of light. Wow, he has time to smoke there? A bit of light? Yeah. No, la, that's, that means a match. Uh, lit, uh. That means he's using the not the lighter lead. Uh. So he's actually a very smart guy. This guy that means quite intelligent with good EQ and IQ. Uh. Carry on. As he moved on, feeling his way through off to one side, then came to a big wall, through which he could plainly hear a group of people singing. Pulling himself up on some oak pipes near the ceiling, he could see through a crevice that people were holding a church service. Oh my God! So finally, I get out from this dirty situation and look through. Oh, there's a group of people, all oh, very nice people singing song, sing Silent Night. Oh, maybe Christmas. Ah. Holy night. Oh, maybe I can see Jesus. Oh, maybe I can see the disciple also. Huh? <laughs> what I'm, I'm just saying there is that that means they don't care whether you're a prisoner. Maybe they welcome him. Maybe he want to help him to escape for whatever reason. We don't know. Huh? Let's go. Eating. Last paragraph. Thank you. Returning to the cave, he slept. When he woke up, he was cold and hungry. He knew he should leave the sinners, but knowing the brutality of the police, he was convinced to leave. So no choice. That means he did not go to the church. He had to go back again to stay inside there because nobody will expect him. Right, sometimes life is like that. You have three strategy games, seriously, just like in games. So thank you so much. We have read this. So I'm going through the questions quickly. And please, okay. So for example, at the beginning of the passage, the writer used words like crunchings and crept to describe the movement of the man. What do these words suggest about the man? It's the thoughts of him. Remember, you must feel him. You must like him inside the particular situation that the policemen are chasing him. What is the feeling? Of course, Tanlan is unhappy, right? We say, come and catch me, come and catch me, Sun Jinping, come and catch you. Okay, explain, I purposely say the wrong answer, la. of course, uh, you think what? Uh, explain in your own words, uh, own words are, means OQ, right? What the writer implies about the car with the face, siren rose and die in the distance. Oh, road, uh, what does it mean? Die in the distance. So it means what? 死掉了,那个声音,为什么会死掉呢? Uh, Why it rose and die? What caused the matter cover of the manhole to be lifted for up for a moment? You look at this question carefully. It's right, the first sentence of that paragraph, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Why caused the matter cover of the manhole to be lifted up for a moment? Of course, I can't. You may have read people day. No, no. Hello, Merry Christmas. I'm here. Come and catch me. Oh my God, seriously. In line 16 and 17, the man peered through the hole but could see nothing. Give one reason for this. Is it because too dark or is it because? He was covered with all the mud, or he was too tired. He can't even leave out his eye to see clearly. Or because of the, the whole entire weather was very foggy. Remember, there's one fog there just now when we talk about it. Uh, now you understand. Uh, every single word, the words that you are most difficult, you don't understand, very high chance you will be testing you. Okay? I, go, I have to go a bit fast. Uh, because uh, so far, no, not enough time for presentation. Uh. <clears throat> Where, am I? Where am I? Number nine, in paragraph five, the writer mentioned that the man dropped and was washed. Pick a face that show this physical pain. Okay, I think uh how she and how she right. You read the paragraph just now, uh, this desperation. Just So sometimes in life we are like that, especially in the exam. Uh, when you're in desperate mode, what must you do? You suddenly forgot what you have learned. Don't panic. 
close your eyes, seriously, if you are ever religion, pray to your God. If you are a free thinker, close your eyes, meditate, and flashback. Just like some movie, you flashback and think the last part that you study that chapter. Confirm. Sometimes it's very funny. One. You're that, like a spirit out of your body and go and check. Seriously, don't try. Uh. Do it now. Every time when you close the book, like now, like say, uh, wait, he, he studies uh, this math problem sum, like algebra or side cosine tangent, right? Then tomorrow, you flashback the moment that you sit at that particular room you're reading at that particular chapter. Your brain power is that strong. Seriously. It's more strong. So that is the reason why. Please do not smoke and drink. It will truly, definitely destroy your brain tissue. In paragraph 6, pick up the personification. Now, personification means to describe a non-living thing to a human feeling. Explain what the writer is trying to emphasize here. Okay? Pick up the paragraph 6. Huh? Okay? So in paragraph 7, what does the phrase the upper world refer to? Are you referring to the God? Or are you referring to the normal people? Because it's now under the sewage, right? Upper world. Is it the normal people on the surface of the street? In paragraph 7, pick up the expression to show expression to show that the man felt pain when he breathed. Give a logical reason for this. Of course, oh my goodness, so sting, so so disgusting and he's struggling for his life he's climbing up he wants to get some fresh air okay logical feelings huh? in paragraph 8 explain how the delicate lenses of hazy violets enter the manhole and where did the light emit from come from where you want to come up and hold the pole and then see like some churches or things like that right the structures of the text okay these are the words here so Ray T and Ya Ye so when you see this kind of paragraph on all these words, uh, now I tell you to be honest, you don't believe me. Uh, if you are very hardworking, I hope you are, all of you, go and read through the passage again. Print it out if you have a printer. If not, I have to, sorry, use a stylus pen to put the first sentence of each paragraph. That sentence of the first, um, the first sentence of each paragraph, you're really going to tell you all these things. Here. First time you may not, huh? Sure not. Okay, are you sure now? Are you sure it works now? Yeah, yeah. It confirmed not 100%, but at least 70 to 80 to 90%. It will help you because I did it before and my student did it before. Okay? So, can you make a choice? So, for example, paragraph one and two, ask yourself is it flight or fight, fight or flight response? Or is it life or death situation? The first paragraph is it life or death? So, now you know, now you know why I ask you to analyze when you read the paragraph. You have to put yourself in the situation. Is it three and four? Is it near capture? You may pay two down. Is it after defeat or is it safe for the moment? So you have to see the keywords. Okay, heart pounding rapidly. Ah, this looks like some paragraph somewhere here. These two, maybe right? Correct now. Ah, now you understand. How you not gain it? based on the first sentence to bring out the essence of it. Okay, so I finished reading now. Ah, so 25 ways, 25 winning reason why failure is who is good for success. Okay, just to give you some motivation. Uh, oh, sorry, cannot show you the answer. Oh, I cannot show you the answer. Can I show you the answer? Oh, oh very fast, very fast. Mm, oh, I see the answer there. Oops, okay, that's it. Okay, okay. Who want to do the presentation for today? One team only. Who want to do first? Warren, do you want to do? Okay, let's go. I share screen, huh? No, I share. Uh, no, I need to share screen to you. Well. Okay, come. Let's go. Your group members are four of them. Uh, everyone must talk, huh? Let's go. Uh, before we start, can I have... Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Let's go. Wow. Wait, let me let me see if I can um share screen with. Hang on, uh, let me see if I can just share this thing. No, there are four speakers, right? Yeah. Who are they? Chiao Ling. Uh Rui Qi, Mi, Chiao Ling, and Mian Mian. Uh, sorry, you Rui Qi, Chiao Ling, and Ya Ye. Mian Mian. Mian Mian. Uh. Yeah. You wait, Chi Chao Ling and Min Min. Okay. So who is the first speaker? Me. 
Okay, so basic, so, whoops. So today I will be talking about the impacts of war and how it negatively affects us as a society and as individuals. So my team members consist of Rui Qi, Chao Ling, Nian Nian, and of course me. So the first adverse effect of war is it causes people, it causes people to lose their homes and create um, poverty cycles. Yeah. So war destroys homes, hospitals, and schools and robs entire communities of education and healthcare. And it leads to a vicious poverty cycle where nobody can escape the endless loop of lacking good jobs to ascend the social economy ladder. Hence, right, like um, they don't get proper education and ends up working hard labor and hence is not able to ascend the social and economy ladder in order to send their children to get a better education and healthcare. These, this leads their children to be stuck working hard labor as well, and this will continue for generations to come. Hence, this is very dangerous as it enables more and more, and it as it disables more and more people from having a good life. So it also causes mass death and destruction. I mean, obviously, we all know that it causes the loss of lives in both the winning and losing sides. And like one example would be in World War II, where the minimum estimated amount of lives lost was 17 million people for all countries combined. World War II was considered the most destructive conflict in history, and it started because the countries were too wary of each other. Yeah. So next speaker. Who's that? Uh, let me check. Thank you. Is it Chao Ling or Rui Qi? Rui Qi, Rui Qi. Ah, Rui Qi, let's go. Uh, I can't hear you, you're, you're not on mute. Yeah, okay, let's go. According to the ICC, willful killing, that is, intentionally causing the death of civilians, are war crimes, while large-scale genocide including during wars, are considered a crime against humanity. Persons who commit, order, or condone war crimes are individually liable under international human humanitarian laws for their crimes. Uh, the next one is... Wait, let me see. So you're right, Arichi, because whoever support war is going to have, whoever started war usually will be the one going to suffer a war. So the one who play with guns usually will kill by guns. Seriously, okay? I agree that part. Thank you. Who's next? Mei Mei. Okay, Mei Mei start. Uh, next, Mei Mei, can you carry on? Uh, uh, oh, oh, which one? Okay. Uh, do you know that after World Do you know that after World War One, Germany had to sign an <laughs> Germany had to sign an agreement to pay the and to pay the United Nations one uh, one hundred and thirty two billion gold marks. War leaves a long term effect on the world, especially in, in economic terms. Usually, war spending runs on financial debts because they need more money than usual. But fewer citizens are working. This causes a higher national debt to gross domestic product ratio. Thus, the recovery of post-war is often the hardest part of it. So it's called rep reparation. That means whoever lost the war had to pay all the money to the Allied forces, which at that time is France, England, uh, US, and which country? Yeah, Italy, Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Next, who's done? Is it continue from there? The next slide, is it? By the end of 1945, the bombing had killed an estimated 140,000 people in Hiroshima and a further 74,000 in Nagasaki. In the years that followed, many of the survivors were faced leukemia, cancer, or other terrible side effects from the radiation. So you see, the devastating of war is much more serious than cloning as what this team is talking about. 
and it's, they agree that war is really something that is no good and bad. Okay, carry on. Any more? That's it for. That's it now. Well done. You think okay. Not easy to present this. Uh, thank you so much. So we have finally this uh, who are. Uh, uh, okay, war is bad, huh? so that you're done. Okay, so next week will be Han Ling. Han Ling, are you there? Han Ling, and then followed by Zhiye, your team. Huh? Uh, I present next week. Yeah, because it's already 9.30. Okay, is it okay, Han Ling? Oh, that's fine. But that's fine okay, good. Huh? Because, yeah, I think you just uh, put it down. And Zhiye, I'll give you more time. Okay, I'm going to end the lesson soon. Okay, thank you so much. And happy National Day. Also, even it's over already. So please, ah, please, please, please. 我求求你们了哈。如果可以的话，就是做这个 homework, all right? And then 做这个 homework. So, ah,、uh, but please write on the full scale paper, ha. Don't type it out, ah. I want to see your handwriting, okay? If you can do this, okay, that would be good. Ah,、uh, I think all your W A over ready, ah, should be ah. If not, ah,、uh, this is the prepare you. Please time yourself when you do this comprehension passage. At least now, I you have read once already, so it's better to read at least two more times to before you attempt. All the questions, okay. What did someone say something? Any questions? Jiaxing, are you there now? Hao Xuan, ah, I don't know you're there or not. So you only read so one so far. Okay, right. Thank you so much, all of you. Ah,、uh, next week there will be two team presenting, and next week might be playing a tic tac toe games. Ah,、uh, I will see how it goes. Thank you, everyone. Have a good weekend. God bless you. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye.